The Salute Military Golf Association, SMGA, is based around providing rehabilitative programs for post-9-11 war veterans who are injured or wounded or experience post-traumatic stress disorder. This program is a way for us volunteers to give back to those who offer everything they have for our country and a way for them to gain confidence and support from the community around them here in Maryland through golf. What motivated you to join SMO? Oh, that, that was easy. Back in 2014, late 2014, I was pursuing my PGA career and I was told to meet with Jim Estes, the founder of SMGA. And Jim, also a PGA professional, asked me if I would help him with one of the clinics that they were conducting, one of the eight clinics they were conducting. So I went out to help him and we worked with the veterans. I had the opportunity to work with them for several weeks and seeing the smiles on their faces, the laughter that came out of their, uh, their groups, uh, it was easy to get caught up in the atmosphere around them. So joining them a couple of years later when they offered me the position to work for SMGA, uh, it was actually quite easy and motivation enough. What was your branch of service? Uh, I was Army for 22 years. I retired. Right. Have you golfed before? I, I've golfed off and on over the past few years just as a recreational player, but never had any formal instruction. All right. And how do you feel these golf clinics help you? Uh, these golf clubs have been great since I've been coming out here. The pros are very good at explaining the fundamentals and uh, correcting the little mistakes that I was making in the past. So I've really enjoyed the, uh, the clinics out here with the SGMA. SGMA. Great. What was your branch of service? My branch of service was the Army. Right. Have you golfed before? I used to golf a lot when I was little. My father actually taught me how to golf. And then I played when I was in Germany for a while, and then I went, and also Korea, I was very lucky, Fort Lewis, and when I got sick, I stopped playing golf. How do you feel these golf links helped you? Well, first got me back onto the links. Um, I, before that, I hadn't played golf for, oof, five, almost five years before I came back to golf, and these clinics have helped me give the confidence to at least try to play golf. Not anywhere close to what the game I used to have, but these clinics have been so helpful with that. Also helped me with socialization. I look around and most people my age, we see golf as a boring, low skill needed, more elderly suitable sport. And golf can be really frustrating, such as the moment when you just can't seem to get it out of the bunker over and over, and you're wondering how Tiger Woods makes it look so easy. I mean, life just doesn't seem fair, but that's what makes it all the more self-rewarding. Eventually, with golf instruction and a community of support, you improve, and that feeling when you finally shoot under 90 or 80 for the first time, all of a sudden, all that practice and all that pain and stress, it's worth something. What helped make you decide to join SMGA as a volunteer? I have um, volunteered now for over the past five years uh, with SMGA. I been, was invited initially by um, my good friend, DeWitt Osborne, and I've gotten to know Jim Estes quite well. And uh, recently, Jim Estes invited me out um, to volunteer and he understands my game, he knows my game, so he has asked me to come and demonstrate a few shots uh, with the pros, so uh, I've enjoyed it, I've been enjoying it um, so far this uh, season, as I've before as well. And how do you think that this has helped out veterans? I think it's a, it's a great uh, ther therapeutic um, uh, process for, for the veterans that, that I've seen. Um, they've definitely um, taken to, to the game and um, they're emphasizing, they're utilizing the skills that, that they've been taught. For example, I've seen, I just met um, Al-Haji uh, for the first time he was here. He's been coming this um, season, this spring, and uh, I've seen his game improve considerably and he's just picked up the game and so and he's smiling he's enjoying the game 
and the golfers who have been participating in the program, they, they seem to be enjoying the game and they're looking forward to going out on the golf course. So yeah, I think it uh, has helped them tremendously. Anything else you want to add? I think it's, it has helped me as well, um, just to be able to volunteer, um, to be able to, to work with the veterans and to, um, to interact with them has been a tremendous um, uh, help and a blessing to me to, to be able to um, just to be around these, these wonderful um, men and women who have served the country, their country very well. Doctors Orlinick and I, the young man swinging out the aircraft door, checking with his ground team, checking wind direction, air speed, and so forth, verifying that the drop zone is clear and ready. Are you clear and ready? Yeah! They will not jump until they hear you. <laughs> He's now getting his final hand on the single pilot. Got in the aircraft to the point where the jumpers will exit. From there, from there, they'll perform a free fall jump from 8,000 feet. 8,000 feet. Please look skyward in about the next 30 seconds or so. We're here today to support and celebrate the service, sacrifice, the fortitude, and commitment of these warriors. One please, round of applause, they recover back to the stations. The second thing I realized was that even though golf may seem like a very individualistic sport that does not involve really anything else besides you and maybe the wind, this is a huge misconception. During every single shot, there are people encouraging you, congratulating you, and maybe even sharing a beer, but not in front of the miners, of course. And I can wow. see how this can be a huge help to the veterans. I mean. It helps them gain confidence in themselves because there's just so much motivation and encouragement going around. So tell us about some of the special people you have met in SMGA. SMGA is, is about uh, golf. Yes, we try to teach golf. We try to help the veterans use golf as a, as a motivational uh, tool to help them get out of their the mundane uh, day, day to day. However, it's, it's also about the support around them, uh, whether it be family members, uh, whether it be their caregivers, or even volunteers that are helping them. And I've found uh, some of the special people to be a spouse, for instance, that I met who worked endlessly to get her husband to various events where she thought he might uh, thrive or, or at least feel more comfortable being around other veterans that were injured like him. And when she would get, them, get him there, he didn't talk much, but she could see that he was happier in that environment. And just watching her, watching him, uh, I think was, was definitely special. I, I, I remember meeting a, a veteran in Pennsylvania who made keychains. In fact, I have one in my pocket that he gave to me. And he made it from uh, little bootlaces and uh, military grade uh, bootlaces, I think. And he was so proud to hand these out. And I, and I thought, yes, he's here for a golf event, but he seemed happier when he was handing these out to people that gave him a smile or chatted with him for a minute. And anytime someone puts effort into making something, put time into making something, and then they give it away, then you're giving away a little bit of yourself. And I thought that was special too. So, and, and most of the veterans are special in their own right, but those are just a couple of the ones that I could think of. Why do you think younger volunteers are important to you? Oh, well, like you guys and, and what you've seen being around uh, these veterans, uh, while we don't think about it, some of them are actually, in fact, they are young. And while they chose a different path or a different career going into the military serving this country, I, th I think having younger volunteers that uh, are curious about their uh, 
their path or what they what they chose to do. I think having younger volunteers around that wants to, to share uh, what they learn by watching, being around these veterans, and and just helping other young col uh, colleagues, students, or whatever the case may be, to understand that there is a different side to to what we take for granted on a day-to-day -day basis. And there, and there is a, a sacrifice that some people have made that most people aren't aware of. And having the younger people understand that, I think, is very important, and the awareness is very important. So for that and what you guys are doing, what you've committed to doing, I certainly appreciate it and thank you for that, too. The last thing I've realized is that there's so much versatility in golf that I don't think I've seen in any other sport. Not just the fact that there are an infinite amount of different courses to play or an endless variety of different clubs to buy, but it's the people. You can play with anyone no matter how old or how experienced. You can have the best time whether you play with a complete stranger or your best friend from elementary school. And so in the end, I think that's what makes SMGA such a special experience. Having golf bring people together is really something unique. So when their mission statement states, empowering wounded veterans one fairway at a time, I personally think that that's a pretty fair way to put it. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight Oh, the ramparts we watch Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air That our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled black?